Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I'm taking a look at a mini PC from Ace Magic. That's right, a PC that hooks to your television. Well, you can use these as small home computers, office computers, but it'll also hook up to your television. In fact, you can run up to three screens off of these things, and these are neat. So we're looking at an Intel processor with plenty of storage and plenty of processing power. This isn't a Celeron. It starts as an i5 and an i7. We're talking 16 gigs or 32 gigs worth of DRAM. We're talking either 512 or one terabyte. So what can you do with this kind of storage? What can you do with this kind of processing power on the edge? Well, we were recently talking about that. Plex server. Well, a lot of people were looking for it to run a Plex server like I do on my Synology NAS, but now you can run it on the edge. And guess what? I wanted to see if it would solve some problems I was having with 4K. Also, we were talking about a PC application that I found. It's a DVR, allows you to record all sorts of things. And a lot of people wanted to run that directly on their TV. Well, now you can because your TV is now a PC. And we also talked about Video Proc Converter, a program that's able to upscale and to rip DVDs. Well, with an inexpensive DVD player, I was able to do that directly on my TV as well and then upscale them using AI. Let's take a look at this. As you can see, it's Windows 11. And look, here, I've already have a disk up and I'm gonna go ahead, GPU and Intel Excel, uh, processor accelerated. This thing is recognizing both. And yeah, it runs really quickly. And look, look at this. I'm able to improve the video uh, right on the box itself. So I can rip it in. That was an old DVD from uh, 81. And I can actually make it upscale it and make it much, much better. Here's Audiles 1, an excellent program. I'll put a link to that video that I did. It allows you to do screen captures and capture anything that's on your screen and make a, well, nice video collection out of it. That's right, I put a two terabyte drive in this thing when I got it, and so I can make a little server. I can also play games on it. I have a great mouse for that. I wanted to show you how it did a DVD rip. There we go. I have a DVD in this little drive, plugged it in right into the USB port on this, was able to analyze it and then pull it in. Yeah, this is Le Chev from 1981. It's actually a French DVD, but I was able to rip it in and make it an American DVD. Solitaire, who doesn't love Solitaire? I have a great Air Mouse. I'll, I'll put a link to that as well, because that makes it too cool. But this is Audiles, and as I mentioned, you can record all sorts of things. Make a video library and then serve it. Pretty darn cool. So uh, this is actually running, this is Freebie. And yeah, Freebie is neat, uh, and it allows you to, when you play a video, Guess what? I can record. I can even batch record if there's multiple episodes. You need the processing power of this. A lot of people said it doesn't work or it stops after 30 minutes. If it stops after 30 minutes, it's because your computer went to sleep. Turn off that feature. So uh, what else could I do with it? I was thinking, of the oh, you can run a browser on this. That's beautiful. But here, I'm going to run Plex, running Plex server. But this is just Plex watching Plex. And I wanted to run it over a browser to see if I could solve the 4K problem I was having with MKVs. It would work on my PC, but not on my Roku box. And look at this, 4K, this is 4K, it's Cosmos. And look, boom, perfectly streaming. I'm jumping ahead, still perfectly streaming. I'm jumping ahead again, still perfectly streaming. It just works. It just needed more processing power on the edge. And it's not just this episode. Boom, I'll go and run another episode. And look, it's jump in the middle. I couldn't do that before. That would cause anything to freeze up. Here, I'm gonna show you that. Let's go ahead and run my favorite box. This is my Roku box. Actually a wonderful system, but it doesn't like 4K M uh, MKVs running over the network. It just is, it's too much of a demand for it. MKVs do not stream well. It's a known fact. So there's MP4s, and both of them are containers, curious, uh, curiously enough. But uh, look at this. This is what happens when I run it off my NAS drive. Looks beautiful for a sec. Oh, what happened? I got, what, three seconds worth of video? Let's run that again. Load it up. And it looks looking beautiful. And what's happening? Oh, it stopped again. What's going on? Different episode. Let's go ahead and try it again. 
4K MKVs just need more processing power at the edge. You can either convert them or give it more processing power at the edge. So I did want to go ahead and do a uh, comparison. I grabbed my NVIDIA Shield, dusted it off, and uh, well, here it is. This is my NVIDIA Shield, and this should handle it. NVIDIA Shields have a wonderful GPU in them, no doubt about it. But it doesn't have the PC power to run PC applications. So you can't run the odd aisles. You can't run the video proc converter. You can't run... Uh, Look at how beautiful this is. Is that gorgeous or what? I zoomed it up and sped it up, but absolutely wonderful. If you haven't seen this series, you absolutely have to, because it is just genius. I love it. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I watch again and again and again, because the people that made it are so much smarter than I am. I have to watch it five, five times. I wanted to run other media centers to see if it would also help them out. And absolutely it does. See. All of the things that you thought were buffering, all of the problems you thought were network lags, you thought was because it was too far away, you thought it was your VPN, you thought it was everything, but guess what? You didn't have enough processing power on the edge. So yeah, you can run your VPNs, you can do all of that stuff. Why? Because this is a PC, it's a real PC. And look, uh, when I'm running Netflix, this is just pure Netflix, you're really going to get the ability to run a 4K. I'm going to turn that off before it, it yells at me. But um, I can stream 4K. Uh, let's see. I like Ricky. <laughs> not sure if this is 4K or not. But the 4K does work. And it looks really tight. And that's because I have the processing power on the edge. Nice silent unit. It doesn't. It has a fan inside. Because I've, I've heated it up a couple times. But uh, it runs so silently. It's just been a beautiful little addition. I really like having a PC on the edge again. So I use it for recording streams, ripping DVDs, upscaling video, serving Plex or Jellyfish, Zoom, Teams, WhatsApp. I got a camera on it. I like playing games on it. Those are okay. Some of these lighter games, sure. 4K MVV, uh, uh, MKVs, not a problem. Super high quality video. Uh, other media, you saw the other media servers I have. They run nice. And again, it's just a family PC. This thing can support up to three screens simultaneously. So you can use it as your PC. And then when you want to have it run as a, 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 a for your television, not a problem. Plenty of ports on the back. It does have Bluetooth. It does have Wi-Fi. And it works beautiful. You just take off the side and you're able to add more storage. I add more discs. Um, let's see, I'm going to show the side right there. There's an M.2 in there. Uh, there's also two SO DIMM slots. Uh, mine came filled. I did add a uh, 2.5 inch disc to it. There you go. 359 for the i5. That is an absolute steal. I have the i7, uh, but you know, for, for my money, I think the i5 is darn attractive. It is a real Intel processor. So it does do real good things. Anyway, guys, there you go. Uh, I actually like these devices. And having a PC on the edge again, it's just been super. Hey, thanks for watching. Give this thumbs up if you would, and so others can find it. If you have questions about running anything on the edge, let me know. I've got it here, and we can test it out. This has been perfect. Video Proc Converter works aces on this, and Audiles works aces on this. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Talk to you soon.